guys, welcome back to Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm your host, Primetime Phil. And today we're going to discuss a little bit about the Dallas Cowboys versus the Denver Broncos for this Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern at Texas Stadium. The first category I automatically look at when I look at teams going against each other is the talent level that both of them provide. And honestly, Denver doesn't have anything comparable to what Dallas has, and that might be the scary thing. Because you do have a corner that you just picked up that Dallas definitely wanted in Patrick Sertan, but he's on one side of the field and he doesn't move with anybody. So the fact that they had a guy that's injured and Bradley Chubb out for the season and where's your defense goes from there reminds me a lot of what Dallas used to be in Demarcus Lawrence and where'd your defense go from there once he was hurt. So very comparable, but now it comes down to the game plan. What does Dallas have? Has an amazing coaches that do a great job every single game in and game out. And it's shown across the board in every single game when the game plan has changed. So let's look at some of those game plans that we might have to have going into this game to beat those Denver Broncos. When we look at the offensive side of the ball for the Dallas Cowboys, there's a lot of hush-hush about what's going to happen along the offensive line. Is Collins going to go to left guard? Is Collins going to go to left tackle? Is Terrence Steele going to? So now with everything happening in practice, it looks like Terrence Steele is going to move over to left tackle and Collins is just going to come back in. Now, when Ter uh, Smith comes back, what happens with the whole shift around? Who knows? I don't even think the coaching staff knows themselves. So let's just see what happens in this game. And honestly, whoever they put in there, we've had a pretty good offensive line through the year. And Dak hopefully being back, that's going to be the difference. Because now with these wide receivers really stepping up in this past game with Cooper Rush, I think that really opens the door for when a possible Gallup does come back, which won't be this game. What do you do with Wilson? Well, now you have four receiver. What's better than three number one receivers? A possible fourth receiver, a receiver that throws the ball down the field. So again, Wilson was something that we said to keep an eye on, and it's amazing to see him really stepping up. So now it looks like with Gallup's possible contract ending, it doesn't look like such a far cry of, oh my God, what are we going to do? Now we just help him get paid, and we move along, and he moves along, unless he gives us the hometown discounts, which I'm all for too as well. So now let's look at the defensive side of the ball and see what we have to do to go against that Denver offense and whoop that as well. When we focus in on the defense side of the ball for the Dallas Cowboys, there's a lot to get excited about. And I think the category of third down conversions is a big thing in this game. So when you look at Minnesota and what they did against this defense, they were one for 13 in third down conversions, and Dallas really took it to them, especially when Minnesota wasn't playing from behind like Dallas's previous opponents. And so they were mixing it up on third down, and they still were not having success. So I think that says a lot because Denver, when it comes to third down conversion, ranks towards the bottom at 28th. So any of those categories where it's points scored or, or red zone scores, they're at the very bottom. And Dallas's defense right now is definitely taking it to teams, even when those teams are definitely passing a lot. And that shows where Dallas is giving up those yards. Even with all that, they are still not ranked at the bottom of that category. They're just ranked right there in the middle. And I think that says a lot, even though teams are throwing a lot against them. So again, that also puts the fact that the Dallas defense looks good against the run because teams aren't doing a whole lot of that either. Now, this team does have two really good running backs and really good wide receivers, but again, they have Teddy Bridgewater, a guy that can only manage the game. So if you got a team like Tampa Bay or the Rams or Arizona that needs a guy that can win it for you by just managing it because you have a defense to back him up, then he's amazing. But when you look at a team like Denver that does not have that structure, this is not the type of team that is, should be led by Teddy Bridgewater. So the one guy that he has as a weapon that he really went to that wasn't down the field where those other guys are right now is Noah Vaughn. And honestly, him being on the COVID list is going to be very big for this team and is going to take something away that honestly they really need because they don't really have a whole lot to do when it comes to this offensive line going against this defensive line. So to get pressure and get sacks now, that's something this offense has been doing a lot of. So Denver's offense has been giving up a lot of sacks, but this defense for Dallas has not been getting a whole lot. Just a lot of pressures because they have been going against good teams that have been getting the ball out when the pressure is there. Now, when you look at the fact that the Denver Broncos and who they've beaten, they haven't been great teams. They're four and four, and the teams that they've lost to have been good teams like the Ravens, Steelers, and if you put the Steelers in that category, but the teams that they've beat have been things like the Jets and Jaguars and 
So to me, they don't have a lot of meat on the bone when it comes to what they can provide. So this team shouldn't really honestly provide any kind of strength. And I think the 70% Vegas odds of Dallas winning kind of show that. So which team will show up for Dallas? Let's talk about the outcome eventually. So overall, when you look at the Dallas Cowboys, they should be able to run away with this when it comes to matching up across the board. With Dak back in the offense, you should be able to attack this defense any possible way. You should be able to throw it here, throw it there, run it up the middle, run it around the side. It doesn't matter. Statistically, this defense is good, but statistically, every defense has been good before Dallas has gone against them. And since then, they've always dropped to the middle or towards the bottom. So to give that to us, it's becoming a broken record because we don't care and this defense doesn't care as well. So... Every team, watch out because this team can run it up on you. And especially if they run it up early, they become one-dimensional. And I think this Denver team can definitely fall into this category if they don't watch themselves. So I expect Dallas to run away with this like 36 to 13. I don't think expect the score to be close. And if Cooper Rush does come in, I think he stumbles a little bit, but it has nothing to do with Denver's defense. It just has the, everything to do with the fact that when an offensive quarterback has success on his first game he tends to not have success in that second game so again don't take anything away from what denver may do but cooper rush i think still would have an amazing time with this game because vegas has 70 percent odds of us winning and that has nothing to do with the fact that oh we just think it no it has to do with matchups alone across everywhere and if denver's gonna win they need a lot of things to happen for them so i think dallas should win this even like with other games where things have not been working for us like the referees or or or, or just turnovers in general or not getting calls like touchdowns on third downs and stuff like that but when you put all that aside dallas should be able to run away with this and it should be a good thing to watch on a sunday so Thank you for watching. I'm Primetime Phil. I appreciate all the support. Make sure you guys hit that like button, but don't forget to always make sure you ring that bell.